Well, hello, 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 everyone. Dr. Ella Crony here. Arthur, your holistic life coach, inspirational speaker, and I'm also the founder of the Forever Young Programs. As you can see, I've had my spiritual time this beautiful Sunday, and I am getting ready for the gym. I wanted to talk a little bit about food. Not necessarily what we eat, because we know what we should be eating, getting the fruits and getting the vegetables with each meal, preferably the fruit in the morning, the breakfast, and the veggies at lunch and dinner time with your proteins and some grains and a little bit of carbs. But when you eat is as important. If you eat breakfast between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m., that's the perfect time to support your brain and that is for good concentration. So eating between that window supports you, your concentration and your memory. Now let's go to lunch between 12 and 1. That window, eating your lunch between 12 and 1 actually supports the heart. Yes, blood circulation. And then eating dinner between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. No later if you can. Between 5 and 7, having a light dinner, that should be your lightest meal, your dinner. Preferably a salad with protein, however you get your protein. Sh comes Should be in the evening. That feeds your bone marrow between 5 and 7 p.m. And you should always wait two and a half hours before you go to sleep after eating. And that's why five to seven is a good window. And when you don't, and you go to bed right after you eat, you are gonna wake up with inflammation, you are gonna wake up with aches and pains because the body was working really hard all night long trying to digest that food. So if you do this between five and seven, your dinner, and two and a half hours later, go to bed. Now your food, preferably a light meal, has had time to digest. I know it's a little bit different, but let me tell you, I learned this from my herbalist, Anne, in Fountain Valley, and I'm telling you, it's amazing the energy you have when you wake up the next day. Try it. It's a seven-day challenge. Not so much as what you eat as to when you eat. Now, you also know, cut down on the sugar. If you're eating a lot of sugar at night, you're not going to have a good night's sleep. It's just the truth. And if you're eating a lot of sugar during the day, you're going up and down, up and down, because sugar will raise you up and it will drop you like a lead. Cut the sugar down. You don't have to cut it out. Just cut it down. Okay? Until the next time, you stay strong, you stay healthy, and you stay forever young. And don't forget to exercise. Got to get moving, baby. Got to get the body moving.